What's up guys, Billy here, and today we will be taking a look at the new fixed wing mode added in the newest DJI GO update and the Mavic firmware update. For reference, the DJI GO app was updated to version 4.0.7 and the Mavic was updated to version 1.03.0600. Both of these updates went live two days ago on April 12th, 2017. I posted a video yesterday on the changes in the newest DJI GO update, such as Find My Drone and No Fly Zones. If you would like to check that out, feel free to click the link in the top right corner or in the description. Now let's get into the video. To begin, I want to give a quick explanation of fixed wing mode. Basically, it allows your drone to be controlled as if it was a plane rather than a quadcopter. It does this by manipulating the gimbal as well as the motors to again give you the sensation of being in the cockpit of an airplane. Now basically your drone will fly forward at a constant speed and from there it's up to you to control it by rotating it and also changing the altitude up and down. This is certainly not a mode that you would want to use when you're trying to film cinematic shots as you have no control over the gimbal. You'll probably be using this when you're just outside trying to have some fun and is definitely most enjoyed with the FPV goggles. Now on this topic of FPV goggles, I think that DJI released this mode to the Mavic specifically for the DJI goggles coming out within the next couple of weeks now at their next event on April 23rd. Again, this is not confirmed, but I figured I would just throw this in here as with the addition to this mode, I could definitely see the goggles coming out sometime soon. Now to get a better explanation or to really explain it better to you guys, let's jump into the DJI GO application and show how to use fixed wing mode. To enable this mode, we can click the three dots in the top right corner to access the general settings, then head into the controller settings, and then select fixed wing mode. Taking a look at the back of our controller, we have our C1 and C2 buttons. The C1 button can be pushed once a vertical speed is achieved to enable fixed wing mode. To bring the drone back to a hover and exit this mode, we can simply hit the C2 button. Flipping the controller around to the front, we can start looking at how to fly our drone using this mode. To get started, we need to push forward on our right stick. Once we have achieved the proper speed, simultaneously hit C1 to let the drone cruise at this selected speed. I do want to mention that we need to be flying at least 3 meters per second to enter fixed wing mode. This is just under 10 feet per second converted to imperial units of measurement. Pushing the left stick up and down will adjust the altitude of the drone. When flying, the gimbal tilts with our movements, giving us the sensation of the plane dipping its nose up or down. I do want to mention that this is the only way to control the gimbal, so basically you will have no use of that wheel on the back right, and again, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this method or this mode really isn't going to be used for cinematic shooting. The next movement is true for both the left and right stick. If we move these side to side, the drone will rotate. We get the sensation of our drone banking around as the gimbal moves with its movement, rather than staying straight up. This is almost like switching your gimbal mode into FPV mode rather than follow mode. Holding the right stick downwards will exit fixed wing mode. This works just like the C2 button, but is easier for me to access in case of an emergency. I do want to stress that if you hold the stick down, it will stop and come to a hover and won't decrease its speed. I wish that there was some settings so that the speed could be decreased, but again, as of right now, there isn't. So guys, that about wraps up this tutorial of fixed wing mode. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave me a comment down below as I will be by my computer all day and I'll be sure to answer any of the questions you have. A lot of people were wondering why I didn't include this in my last DJI GO update video and it was just because I needed some more time to play around with it and I didn't want to go saying anything wrong about it. Uh, so again, I waited to give it its whole own video and I think that it was a good idea as a lot of people do have a lot of questions regarding this mode as it was basically just thrown into the mix. Now there is one thing I do want to say, earlier in the video I said that this would be a lot more enjoyable with FPV goggles and I think that with the addition of this fixed wing mode, we are going to be seeing the DJI goggles sometime soon, possibly at this new event from DJI coming up on April 23rd. Again, it's all speculation, but I think that with the addition of this mode, we will be seeing the goggles sometime soon. Anyway guys, that's about all for me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new around here as I have been trying to upload daily. Also, again, leave me a comment down below if you have any questions regarding the fixed wing mode and I'll be happy to answer. So guys, as I said, this video is coming to an end and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.